All right, thank you, Tony. This weekend, many people will be heading out to their holiday destinations and getting in some last-minute shopping. I would assume supporter Sheena Lushuto spoke with travelers who were impacted by today's weather. She joins us now live from Warwick with more. Sheena? Well, many of you are probably leaving for your big Christmas trip either tomorrow or Sunday, so you can probably expect to see a lot more cars on the road and some lines at the airport. And this wet weather we're seeing right now is actually already impacting some of those travel plans. Just about three more minutes. <laughs> Wet weather calls for an anxious arrivals area. David is waiting for his son, Paul, who's already had some close calls on his journey home starting in Missouri. Both of his flights have been delayed. He almost missed his flight in Baltimore, so uh, it was like two minutes he would have missed it. He ran from one gate to the other. And friend Kalori is waiting for her daughter, who she says has bad luck traveling during the holidays. So this weather has her feeling uneasy. Both families are waiting on a flight coming in from Baltimore. It's scheduled to arrive an hour late. Oh, very nerve wracking. Yes, yes. And of course, being a very busy day traveling. Mother Nature did quite the number Friday. Crews were hard at work as heavy winds and rain hit southern New England. Eyewitness News was on scene after down power lines blocked off a road in Attleboro for hours, causing major backups. You ready, girl? While most flights were in the clear at TF Green, David and Teresa don't mind waiting. In fact, they've been waiting for this since September. He's coming back from the Army. He's just finished boot camp, and uh, he's going to have about 10 days here with us. There he is. Hey, he's not in his camo. Paul hasn't missed a Christmas at home ever, and he wasn't going to start now. Yeah, I love you. Rain or shine, his family is ready to hear all of his stories from basic training. Now, AAA says more people are driving this year to their holiday destination, so you want to make sure to leave plenty of room out on the roads and leave early and give yourself lots of time so you can get there safe. Reporting live in Warwick, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.